Hey everyone, hope you're well. Today I'm gonna to be doing an experiment. This is one of like the most asked, like one of my most asked questions amongst people online and people in real life, and that is where do you buy your jeans from? I always answer the same. I get my jeans and I have them for a long time from Topshop and I always get the same jeans, all the same like hyper jean, but just in different colors. And it kind of occurred to me that I haven't actually really tried, I'm sorry, there's a ruckus going on around here. I haven't really tried any other jeans from any, uh, any other high street brands for a very long time because I got stuck in my rut. So, but I'm also equally intrigued to see as someone that is like pear shaped, size 14 on a bum, on half, like how, jeans differ across all high street shop. It isn't a fucking myth that all high street brands can't seem to get their shit together and keep the sizing the same. I'm going to, A, if I actually find some other jeans on the high street that I like potentially more than the ones that I already own and I might be swayed to try new things, and B, to see if the size and the fit of the jean is consistent throughout different high street shops. So yeah, I am a pear-shaped woman. I am smaller on the top. I don't really have boobs and this top part is smaller and yeah, one would say I am pear-shaped. I do struggle with jeans and I know that a lot of girls <coughs> with bigger butt, bigger thighs do struggle with jeans. For me, what I'm looking for with jeans is are they stretchy? Can I move in them? Am I going to be really uncomfortable in them for the, like, for the day? Like I hate having jeans that don't have any give to them so you literally can't move, especially when you've got thick thighs that rub together, um, it's really hard to fucking walk in them. And also when you've got butt, like that just takes up so much space in of the actual like fabric of the size that you're, you're not left with much else. So, oh, and, and then you have that problem of buying something to accommodate your bum, but then you've got like loads of space up here. It's just, it just can be a little bit of a nightmare, but I love jeans. I love wearing skinny jeans. I love wearing ripped jeans. I just think they're really easy to just throw on. Like jeans go with fucking everything. They're amazing. But yeah, it can be challenging at times to find a perfect pair of jeans. Not only for myself, but for you, I'm gonna just do this experiment and see what's out there. So I'm now gonna roll the VT of going out to find some jeans. Right, so I've come into town. I haven't got long. I've got about an hour before I, can, I need to leave because I'm going to boot camp. I'm gonna be looking for various different jeans from different high street shops. Um, same style, same size, and just let's just see how these all differ. First port of call, I'm gonna give River Island a shout. Jeans, 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 where are you? So I'm assuming it's these Kaya, K, Kai, high rise disco, mid rise. Are there mid rise in here? I want high, I need high waist. Okay, I found it. Haley, high rise skinny. They actually have their side, the, the, the chart up there. But I'm gonna get the high rise skinny and Haley. And I think that means that's a size 14. Yeah. Jeans number one have been purchased. I'm gonna use a Levi's now. I've never bought jeans from Levi's before. I might pop my little Levi's cherry. In I go. My friend Jess works in here. She might be in. Oh, there she is. Jess is here. Hi, she's yeah. helping me out. And she's pointed me in the direction of the Mile High Super Skinny in Levi. And I'm feeling like I like this colour because it's classic. Well, she said classic. this is classic. Classic blue. Classic blue in a Levi. So have we got it in a size 14? Yeah, let's go. Let's find it for my ass. Okay, I've got, I've got myself some Levi's. That was pretty easy with, with help from Jess. I've just realised I've never actually really been in the Levi's store before. And I was amazed by all their like patching and customization stuff that you can get on the jeans. It's pretty good. So next shop now is I'm gonna go to H&M. I feel like H&M is probably gonna be the most hit and miss because H&M are renowned for their weird sizing. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna grab my 14 and I'm gonna leave and we shall see. All right, so I found these super skinny jeans. These are super skinny, super, these are super skinny high waist with a ripped detail. I can't actually find the actual official denim section. Excuse me, do you have like an official denim section, like with jeans? Oh, it was upstairs, is it? Okay. Thank you. Okay, found it. Denim high waist, high waist skinny. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so super skinny ankle high waist and it's got this embrace our smart stretch denim adapts to your body and most flattering for comfortable fit so that looks promising i don't know what size i am though oh shit 
Okay, I'm so confused by the sizing, but I've got, what is a 31? I thought it only went up in two, so I got told a 14 or 32, so I guess I've got between a 12 and a 14. I don't know, we'll find out. So, third pair of jeans have been purchased. I'm, I'm a bit dubious about how they're gonna fit, because I don't understand the sizing. I did ask someone, I said, is a 32, a 14? And she said, yeah, but then there was no 32s, there was like 31s and 33s. So, yeah. Next up, we've got a new look. So here is the chart. Um, I either want to get a Halley or a Yasmin. High rise, high waist skinny, high waist super skinny. Or there's a high rise skinny with lift and shape. Okay. That took longer than I wanted it to because I, I became very indecisive all of a sudden. But that was a success, I got some. There was a style that I really liked in there. But then you had it in like one size. And I was like, no! It just had more rips up the leg and it looked cooler. Anyway, my last port of call. Da, 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 primer! I'm seeing a lot of this body sculpt skinny. And I think that these are the high waist. I'm not sure. 14, body sculpt. Aha, uh -huh, this is what I'm looking for. High waist authentic. High waist authentic, body sculpt. Oh my God, where do I go, where do I look? So without further ado, Let's go over and try these bad boys on. So even though primarily my bottom half is a size 14, um, I find with the Topshop jeans, the Jamie jeans, that I actually get them in a size 12 um, and a 30 because I found from experience that they stretch quite a lot. So when I first buy them, man, they're tight. <laughs> yes, they're hard to get up. Um, but after a few wears, I find that they have stretched out a bit. They're like the perfect size. So these are the Jamie jeans. I've had them in so many different various colors. This is my newest pair. I have to do a bit of a leg dance when I put them on. And um, they just got quite a lot of buttons at the front. Oh, well, my nail just come off. Ah! They button up just like that. And then obviously wear it with a belt. And these are the high waist skinny. Now, my preference for skinny jeans is they have to have the belt loops because I think that I love wearing a belt so they've got to have belt loops as a rule but these are you know great they're stretchy high waist generally I get them in a size 30 30 because I'm like I'm a square but um these ones I got in a 30 32 they didn't have a 30 30 32 it's fine it's just a bit longer at the the end I do prefer them to be kind of a little bit higher on the ankle I don't know I do like to show a little bit of ankle just a little bit of ankle so these actually fit me perfectly, you know, in terms of length and, and size, but I do prefer a 30-30. Contradictory to the experiment, I do normally get my Jamie jeans in a 12. These are my, my current favorite jeans, and I love them quite a lot. Now I'm gonna move on to all of these bags. First up, I'm gonna try River Island. These are the blue ones. These were... 42 pounds in this blue. They're, they're called Haley High Rise 14R and they are a size 14. They've got a couple of little rips in there. So let's give it a go. Oh, they feel stretchy. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> they feel quite tight, feel very tight. <laughs> I've got to do the leg dance to get them on. Get them up. Oh, oh God. Okay, right, yep. Yeah. Eh, you win? Okay, we're in. Okay, um, quite tight, I'd say, to start with. Um, quite, they're quite stretchy, I guess. They feel quite thick. I think they feel a little bit thicker than the Topshop jeans. They feel more like, like proper denim denim. I can sort of tell that these guys will stretch out. I can just sort of, you just sort of tell, but these will definitely not be too restricting. Um, I quite like them, I quite like the rips here. I only like rips in um, blue jeans, I don't really like them in black. It has to be like a grey, but I like them in, I like them in blue and grey. It's quite a good length to be fair. U UK 14R, 40R, I don't know. May I just add that all the jeans that I'm trying are, I've gone for the specific skinny high waist, so this is pretty decent, I'd say, in terms of the height that it goes to. Levi's! As I said in the footage, I've never been to a Levi's before properly. I've walked past it many times. I like Levi's stuff, I like Levi vintage stuff. But I've never actually been in a Levi's properly and bought jeans. My friend Jess works there, she gave me a staff discount. If I keep them, that is, that'll be great. I just always thought Levi's just did 
really thick denim, big jeans and like jackets. Obviously maybe not so much now, but I used to. Okay, so I've got, I love the logo on the, the Levi logo, it looks so cool. So these are mile high, super skinny, extra high rise, slim through hip and thigh jeans. And these are 14. She thinks that they're gonna be too big for me, but I'm looking at them and I'm like, mm, maybe not. So well, maybe, I don't know actually. I'm trying to think about my bum being in that. My ass are gonna fill up that gap. <laughs> we'll see. Really nice. Really nice soft material. The catch though is Levi's. These were 95 pounds. A pair of jeans, with staff discount, I got them for a lot cheaper, but it's a delicate blend of ultra soft fibers and powerful stretch, built in recovery, so jeans keep their shape, sculpts and molds. So I guess they won't go out of shape or anything, but we'll see how these fit. Oh my God. Oh yeah, these are too big. Are they? Yeah, they are. Oh my god, they are. These are the 14. There's quite a bit of room here, like a lot. I mean, you could definitely go out and have a big old meal and have a food baby in these, but these are too big. They're also very long. Feel really good. How does my bum look? I don't know though, like even though they are too big, uh, it's like debate though, it's like, are they gonna stretch out? Because if they're gonna stretch out, definitely would have to probably go downsize. But if they're gonna keep their shape, and you know, I wanna be a bit more comfy and cozy in these, I probably would keep them. They are way too long, <laughs> like they come off the end of my foot. But yeah, they are quite, they are quite big, but there is a lot, of, they are very roomy in here. Definitely gonna have to get them taken up, they're so long. They're not as skinny as some skinny jeans, like they're quite baggy around the ankle there, they're quite baggy around the crotch. Uh, how high do they go? Let me pull them up as high as I'll go. Yeah, see I've got this issue now of having this big gaping bit at the back here because they're too big, like they're They've accommodated my ass, but then they go up here and they're huge. If I keep these ones, I will probably exchange them for a 12. But they feel really, really nice. Next, we went to H&M and I bought some premium super skinny ankle high waist. These weren't the cheapest jeans in H&M because these were from the official denim section. I picked up some in there which were like 20 pounds. These were 35 pounds. These are Embrace, our smart stretch denim that adapts to your body for the most flattering and comfortable fit. So yeah, this was from the and denim bit, so the official denim area of H&M. Um, I did look in divider downstairs and I couldn't really find anything that I like liked or fit my criteria. So I went upstairs and I saw these. And <laughs> so yes, they were 15 pounds more expensive than the first pair that I picked up. Who knows, they might be nicer. So these are a 14. I think H&M are one of those brands that are very notorious for not getting the sizing right and making you feel awful about yourself. So we'll just see how we get on. Yeah. Okay, oh yeah, they're not, they're not gonna be big enough. They, I just about got them on. Oh, they're tight, these are tight. Oh, they're too, yeah, no, I wouldn't. They just feel a bit too, yeah, they're too tight, they're not good. <laughs> no, I don't really like these, no. They might be shaped bleed, whatever it said. No, they're very long as well. They come off the end of my foot, midway down my foot. Embrace denim, I don't know. It's not too bad, like I can do them up, but I do feel like, I, I, to be honest, I was surprised that they did do up at all because I've I've been in H&M and like put on trousers and I haven't been able, I haven't been able to, I've had to go up a size or two. I'm pretty sure that if I'd bought the ones from Divided, I would definitely have had to, I've got a 16 or an 18. But I mean, okay, yeah, they're not awful, but they're definitely a bit tight. Next, next, we've got new look. Okay, I was in there for ages. So I got, <laughs> I could decide which I wanted. Right, I got these jeans for $27.99. They are the Halle Rain, which they say are their high waist super skinny. I got them in another blue denim, so very similar to the River Island ones, um, with the ripped knees. I wanted the ones that had more rips up here because they look quite nice, but they didn't have my size. Uh, again, I do prefer a rip in a blue jean, in a blue denim. So I'm gonna try these on, these are a 14. I don't know about these. Oh no, they're all, I don't know. I can normally tell by the first leg pull, they're gonna be too small. Okay, ouch, okay. We've had luck. We have had luck. These actually feel alright. 
cost another nail. These aren't too bad. These are pretty much basically the same as the River Island ones. They feel quite thick. They're quite stretchy. My knee looking popping, popping through the knees. They're a good, they're a good size. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, I haven't really much to say about these. They're pretty, they're pretty accurate. Some people say that New Lookers are again one of those places that aren't that are a bit not too shabby yeah we can squat we can squat in them we're squatting that's fine not too bad last pair primark here's the primark so they had a lot of jeans in there it was kind of chaotic i didn't know where to look high waist skinny in authentic denim in a 14 uh these look tidy <laughs> oh my god let's give it a go oh my god no i don't think these are gonna go on <sighs> they're really long <coughs> Okay, they're on. Okay, so they're very, very long. Oh my god. They're not too... They aren't bad. How much were these? Ten pounds. Ten pounds. So these are the cheapest ones. They're not bad. Apart from them being so long. I mean, I am short. I'm five foot two. So, you know, it's not hard for stuff to be long on me. But I, I'm not, I'm not against this. That's not too bad. I'm for ten quid. Yes, Primark. Still quite roomy in there. Yeah, I think these fit pretty well. I'm I'm actually so surprised. I thought we were gonna have like very different results from this. I thought that it was gonna be very hit and miss. I was nervous about, about all this. I'm, I'm very surprised. 10 quid. So I normally spend about 40, 37 to 42 pounds on my Topshop ones. They range between 38, I think, to 42. And after seeing all these that range different prices, I mean, I guess they were all around, apart from these being 10 pounds, we had Levi's or very expensive and um, they've all been around the 30 sort of 30 pound 20 30 pound mark and all felt very similar and fitted quite similar obviously apart from the levi's which were massive h&m were a bit tight but yeah well interesting definitely want to exchange my levi's for a size 12 because i really want a pair of levi's and i got the for a really good discount. So there we have it, quite an interesting response there from, from the jeans. I hope you found that interesting and uh, somewhat helpful. I'll put the links to the jeans down in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here, hello. Let me know if you want any other videos of this kind. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon, bye.